In the past couple of tutorials, what we've looked at is how to very quickly build out single level rooms, basically tiles with one floor level. We've actually added to the uh, template a couple of additional sheets that can give the effect of multiple tiers such as mezzanines and sunken floors. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access these. Start by creating a new map, dungeons, predefined template, and of course we'll be selecting the annual battle tiles. There's our new map area. So let's start by clicking on a basic floor by using the floor tool and I'm going to select a very generic floor. Let's just use uh, in this case um, we'll use the checkered floor. Now I'm going to start my floor at the 10 foot connection area. I'm going to extend it all the way off to a 30 foot connection area. Now the reason why I am not using the guides is because I'm pretty familiar with where these things connect. That's a 30 foot connection area there, you can see it's symmetrical. That's a 10 foot connection there, you can see it's symmetrical. If I wanted to use my guides, I would have clicked here and uh, unhidden the 10 foot connector guide and the 30 foot connector guide. But let's, um, let's now add a wall to this, so I'm going to click on my walls. I'm just going to use a brown wall. Done. Now if we redraw, oops, if we turn on first of all the sheets, you'll see that we've now got a nice walled open-ended room on two sides. Let's put a mezzanine in here and what I want this to be is a little runway which, I don't know, some orcs or goblins or whatever are using so they can get up above the characters as they enter the room and throw spears at them. So let's use a new floor and I'm going to come down all the way to the bottom here and I'm going to find some nice wooden floor textures and in this particular case I'm going to use an oak floor. I'm going to start the floor right at the side of the wall. It's going to come up five feet along, down five feet and then it's going to come back along this wall. So it's going to be a bit of a, a sort of like an H shape. Whoops, I've made a mistake there. I've accidentally put a point there. Now what we'll do is we'll zoom in and I'll show you how to move that point back. So you can see that our floor is, is not quite right. So let's grab that point using the point move tool, this one, edit node, click on it, move it to the right place, click on it again, and then right click to finish that. We'll now redraw. So far we've now got a floor with a lovely wall and in a glow, but this wall has no sheeting effects. That's because the floor is actually on the same layer, on the sorry, on the same sheet as the other floor. Therefore it's just going to accept those those edge effects there. What we want to do is move this to a raised floor area. To do that we click on change properties, click on just this piece of floor, right click, do it and then we'd say that the sheet is going to be the floor raised. Click on OK and let's redraw. You can now immediately see that this floor, and I'll just zoom in to make that very very clear for you, this floor now has a lovely drop shadow effect and a bit of a, a, a edging around it itself so it looks as if it's been raised. All we now need to do is click on the ladders and let's add a ladder and I'm going to turn off my, uh, my snap for the moment I'm going to place the ladder just there and just there. So that's how our little goblins will get up there. Fantastic, we now have a very interesting looking room with a raised mezzanine area. Actually, I typically find that, you know, while this is fine for, for a battle map, the reality is normally floors don't just hover in space. You actually have to have some sort of columns supporting them. And I like to draw those columns. Uh, for that we're going to go to the, I think we've got some interesting columns in the caverns. No, not in caverns, let's just look along. Let's try temple structures. Let's see if we can't find some nice columns. There's an interesting looking column, we could use that one. Ah, that's probably the better one. It's a pedestal which is overly large for what we want. So we're going to right click 
and we're going to make it say 0.25. There we go, and we can now use that symbol, which would be good enough for suggesting that there's little poles holding up this floor. Great, we now have a finished piece of work.